Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson in finance and growth, we are looking at foreign exchange rates. Now, every country has their own currency. For example, yeah, we've got the American dollar. We've got $20 there for the American, the United States of America. We've got 10 pounds. You can see a Madiba's face, so those are rands. And then sometimes groups of countries have the same currency. So these are the euro. Now, because of the exchange rate in the different economies, the same thing can cost very different prices in different countries. And exchange rates vary depending on how we, well each of the countries are doing financially. Now the best way for us to get to grips with currencies and exchange rates is to do examples. So let's look at an example. Ana Hitta wants to travel with her family to Portugal. She has been given 15,000 rand spending money. How many euros can she buy if the exchange rate is currently 1 euro to 14 rand? So let's get that in a ratio. So we've got euros to rands. And we are told at the moment that 1 euro is 14 rand and 14 cents. Now we want to go from rands to euros. So we're not going to go from rands to euros. So the best way to do this is always to initially get whatever we're going from to be a factor of one. So the way to do that is we're going to divide this 14 rand and 14 cents by 14 rand and 14 cents. But what you do to the right hand side, we have to do to the left hand side. So therefore we're going to divide this by 14 rand and 14 cents or 14.14. .14. So therefore we now have that one rand goes to, and let's get our calculator out. And what do we have to do? We have to choose this, I think. XC, here we go. So this becomes one divided by 14.14 and it gives us 0.071 or 0.07. So therefore one rand goes to 0.07 euros. So now we weren't given one rand, we were given 15,000 rand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one rand and we're going to times it by 15,000. But what you do is the one side, you have to do to the other side, so we're also going to times this by 15,000. Therefore, 15,000 rand is the equivalent of, and again we're going to pop out our calculator, and we're going to times this by 15.23, and we're going to get 1,060.82 euros. 1,000 and 60.82 euros. So Anna Hitta for her 15,000 rand gets 1060.82 euros. Let's look at another example. Tanya wants to buy an iPad which costs 256 dollars in New York. Now I'd ask how many rands will she have to convert to dollars if the current exchange rate is 11.08 rands to US dollars. Okay, so let's think about this. She wants to get from rands to dollars. At the moment, it's 11 rand and 8 cents, 8 cents for one dollar. But she doesn't want to save up one dollar. She wants to save up 256 dollars. So how do we get one dollar to become 256? What do we do? We just times this by 256. But what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side, so that's also 256. Therefore, $256 is equal to, and again we need to get our calculator out, and we've got 256 times 11.08, and we've got 2,836 rand and 48 cents and 36 rand and 48 cents. So that's how much Talia has to save up in order to buy the iPad in New York. And grade 10, that's foreign exchange and exchange rates and how to use different currencies. What you need to do is you need to practice that and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.